and welcome back everyone this is Tundaris here and we are looking at a game called Patron today this is by um, the Overseer developers who are a brilliant bunch of guys and this is looking excitedly like a, a slightly dare I say it slightly better version of Banished which is a game I return to on a regular basis for some chill out time so it'll be really good to see how this compares and what this game looks like so far it's looking good kind of banshee style music going on in the background but um, yeah the graphics on this is looking really beautiful so let's get started it's currently in an alpha build uh, version 0.4 417.6 it's currently available on Steam as a demo uh, with a two hour maximum limit and it's due for release I think around about early early August so around about 3rd 4th of August um, and obviously watch this space for more so we are going to do a standard another 25 minute episode today have a good look at this um, if we like what we see, I might continue to do a few more episodes, at least until I run out of time limit on the demo. So, let's get started. Um, one of the first things I noticed straight away is, oh my god, what is going on with the mouse? This is laggy. What is going on? Let's have a look. Options. Let's see if we can do something about the mouse. General... Mouse sensitivity, okay. Let's touch that up a bit. 60%. No, no, no. no. Oh god, it's bouncing all over the place, right? No, I want 60. Give me 60. Not 61. Not 59. No. Uh, hey, there we go, right. Let's apply that. Is that better? It's still really, still really laggy. Okay, well it's 66. That's where it jumped to. Um, I'm still a wee bit laggy. 73. It's a bit better. I've got a bit more control over it, although. It doesn't seem to stop when I stop, it just seems to keep moving. Um, yeah, okay. Well, let's... Let's leave it at that. Show tutorial is off. I don't think I really need a tutorial. I'm pretty sure I know how this is going to go. Uh, show additional hints on, might as well. Auto save on. Um, video, what we set to at the moment? Everything's set to high, brightness 50%. Here we go high, low, normal, high, low, normal, high. Or we're set to the best anyway. Colorblind mode. That is good to see that there is actually, sorry, I've got really bad hiccups. Um, I've been drinking, uh, what am I having? This early evening. So I've just had dinner, so I've settled up with a rhubarb crabbies. Really tasty. Colorblind mode. Good to see that developers are actually working this in now to make accessibility better. I am officially uh, partially sighted. I'm blind on the right side and lost 30% of the sight on the left. So for me, when I can have more control over the user interface, uh, that's usually better because sometimes I find some UIs just that little bit difficult to read. Um, so it's nice to be able to, to change that. Obviously, it doesn't look like you can do that. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think you can in this game. But, you know, having colourblind mode, it's, it's a good start. Audio. User interface volume. I can control the interface volume, but I can't control the interface size. Obviously. Developers, if you ever see my video, Please give me the ability to change the size of the UI so I can see it better. Oh wow, ooh, wow, look at the lag on that. Woohoo! Right, anyway, 
uh, getting distracted by laggy mouse. Right, let's apply all that anyway and go back to the main menu. And, ooh, achievements. No. Let's start a new game. Right, new game. Town name. James Tunnel, that's not inventive, isn't it? What should we call it? Oh, let's let's name it after the drink. Ooh. First of all, I cannot spell rhubarb. Barb. That's barred, so that's not going to help. Barb. Well, I think that's roughly right. Who's going to know, other than me? Okay. Um, banners look like something out of Game of Thrones. Oh, look, there's the obligatory dragon. Tree. Swirly things that represent. Air. Celtic knot. Might go for that. Scorpion. Sword and laurel leaf. Earth symbol. <laughs> Patron symbol and House Lannister. So we're just gonna let's see. I think I'm quite tempted by this one. Quite like that one. So let's go with that one. Um, you know what? Mm, I don't think there's another R in there. That's going to really complicate matters, isn't it? I just don't know how to spell rhubarb, which is not helpful. Now I'm going to have to Google it. Rue. Oh no, it is without the other R, so it's R H U B A R B. I like rhubarb before anyone says anything. I think it's a really versatile thing. Um, thing. That's not very helpful, is it? Might be a fruit, might be a vegetable, somewhere between the two. Anyway, it's really tasty. I will quite happily munch it straight out the ground. We're dipped in some sugar or honey um, and just chew on the end for ages. Um, <laughs> my family, my brother and sister and I have done that for a long, long time. Otherwise, it goes straight into compote or crumble. Crumble because John likes crumble. Right, let's go. John's my husband. Right, peaceful Mediterranean. Ooh, look at the maps. Okay. The only thing I see about that is does this mean that the map is restricted in size? Can we not just have large maps? <clears throat> I hate games that restrict you with map sizes, right? Uh, soil fertility high, oil, oil richness high, weather temperate. Oh, I can't have that one. Soil fertility high, it's Pine Ridge, named after thick pine forest that's all through the area. Uh, Twin Islands. Summit. Reef. Island of Plenty. I doubt that, considering the amount of water in that map. Oasis. Delta. That makes sense. Highlands. What is that? I live in the Highlands. What is that? That is... Guys, developers, that's not what the Highlands look like. Not even close. You might want to reconsider that. Fords of Iron. Archipelago. Hmm... North Peak Volcano Why do they always put the volcanoes in the middle of a map? Same as the other map with the, the big mountain in the middle I kind of feel like, you know, for variety Move it off to the side a bit It doesn't have to be smack bang in the middle every time I think the only map we've got a choice of on the demo is the Mediterranean So we're going to go with that one Continue, right Preset Normal Okay, resources high, population start 10, 6, 3, I'm assuming that's adult to child ratio, maybe adult, you, baby, maybe? I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, wildlife, medium, you have medium wildlife, is that like a size or the amount? 
or medium weather normal temperature normal disasters disasters do we have to have disasters can i turn disasters off disabled i can um i suppose we better leave it on for the the demo right easy normal hard extreme well this could be fun right okay well we're not running on extreme today because you know um what we'll do is we'll run it on normal i don't generally play games on easy i find that a waste of time so we'll we'll just continue uh continue as normal whatever normal might be right let's get this game started Oh, that was fast. That's a fast go. Oh, and they're off. Oh, look at all my people. How do I... Oh, oh, oh. Right, middle mouse wheel is rotate. Edge of the screen doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, there we go. Okay, right mouse... Right mouse button. Oh, zoom too far. Zoom too far. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Um... Right, right mouse button, move. Ooh, still a bit. Uh, left mouse button doesn't seem to do anything. Can I click on people? Mm, no, although they've suddenly all jumped with the house and heads. Right. Let's pause and have a quick nosy around the map briefly. What have we got? I mean, it's fairly beautiful. The detail. There's definitely a lot more detail on this than Banished. Um, although, that's weird. We're paused, but the, uh, but the bird's still moving. Are the animals still moving, or is it just the bird? Hello, what are you? You look like a bear. Hello, bear. Well, the bear's paused, but... Oh, where'd it go? I've lost the bird. There was a bird. There it is. Look. Look, 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 everybody. There's a bird. It's uh, Everything else is paused. All the other animals are paused. But the bird is still moving. Okay. There's a water feature there. It's clearly a river. Estuary. Oh, no, hang on. No, not just the birds. I've just found a dolphin still moving. Fair enough just seems to be a bit of a weird selection so this is a, how far can I zoom out so I can't zoom out too far I mean it is a fairly big map but obviously it's got also got a fair no, large chunk of that map is taken up by water and where it isn't taken up by water it seems to be taken up by huge mountains which I suspect I cannot get rid of um, so if you're aiming to build huge, huge, vast, sprawling villages, then um, find a different map. Although the Highland one looks interesting. Right, okay. So, what have we got? Uh, April year one. So yeah, we've got 500 coins, 50 tools, 50 stone, 50 iron. Is that... 385 food, 50 wood, lumber, sorry, 42 firewood, yeah, very banish esque. Uh, 1063, three influence points used for enacting decrees through the policies panel, okay. 83 happiness, why are you not starting happy, people? Why, you've just, you've just built a hut thing, you've just started on a new land, why are you not happy? I would be happy. But there we go, right, anyway. I have this weird little red icon here. Housing shortage. Some of your families have nowhere to live. At the moment, I don't think any of them have anywhere to live. Um, options. Quick save. Main menu. Views. We've got mini map. Grids. Show hide the trees. I suppose that's useful for looking for resources. Uh, additional panels. We've got annual. Stock. And um, residence. Oh, well, the annual town founded houses. Right, okay, yeah, well, 
company of that. Stock. So we've got capacity set up, a chart visual. Not really sure how useful that chart's going to be. Uh, so residents, but accordingly that's not available. Maybe you'll be able to click on the residents once that is available. Um, possibly. Town hall. So there's our decrees and our overview. If I click that, no decrees and actors, right? Okay, yep, we know that already. Oh, is that an advisor? We're off to a good start, sire. Everything looks sire. Well, have you sire me? Everything looks in order. The people have food, firewood, and are content. Good work. Really? I don't think they're that content. They just moaned at me. They don't have a house. Uh, research. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Can I... Right, selected that. There it is. How much research is there? I'm assuming these... We've got different types. What's that? So that's additions to make people happier based on radius of various things. Upgraded buildings. And that's a policy. So I think the green ones are policies. The grey ones are buildings. And the red ones are, I like to call them maybe upgrades. But yeah, I think increase the maximum. So yeah, they're kind of like upgrades. Okay. So, we're now researching jobs board. All right, yes. A bit like banished, you need to assign people to jobs. Um, we need currently one carrier, so we're going to make one carrier. Nine other people, I'm assuming it's adults only. I think what we need is find out at what age a child or whatever becomes an adult. In fact, can we have a look? Adults, young, children, families, houses, total occupied empty. There we go, that's helpful. So it is adults, young people, and then children. Right, that makes sense. Uh, what else have we got? That's jobs, toggle game status. Oh, right. Oops, bring that back. Kind of need you. Right, then we've got pause, slow, and speed. And then we've got housing, town buildings, farms, production buildings, beautification, roads and bridges clear buildings and resources. I'm really not used to the fact that I can't scroll on the edges. Maybe I could turn that on somewhere, but I'm satisfied as it is for now. I just need to remember. No problem with switching between games or using different uh, different modes of moving around. Right, should we start with a bit of roadage? Because that's usually a good idea. Road. Dirt road, large wooden bridge. Probably need one of those soon. I bet they're expensive. Ooh, they are expensive. Um, signposts. Help your citizen find their way quicker. They move 5% faster while near a road sign. Ah, so I should plan to have road signs. Right. Um, oh. Okay. So under the cursor is nothing. Not a little square or anything to show me, show me where... Oops, I've just put a road where I didn't want one. That's about normal for me. Right, okay. Well, that's that's a little... That makes it really difficult to see because I can't see where... Where I can... Where the, where the skirting edge of this building is to put a road down, I wonder. Uh, view... Red. Aha! Aha! This makes... This makes it easier. Right, let's see if I can build a, a road. Yeah, so that follows that, so I can do it this way. That's fine. A bit f more faffy, but it is is understandably doable. Right, let's box you in by a, with a road. Right, you have a road. Uh, let's take the road that way. And um, we'll put some houses in. Housing. Tent provides the weakest house to your settlers as you live in some form of housing paid taxes, which is your main source of income. Housing four resources needed two lumber, two leather. Standard wooden house provides housing to settlers as you live in some form of housing source of income. Um, resources need 20 coins, lumber, and stone. Yeah, 
I think actually, we'll go for tents or houses, tents or houses, tents or houses. We'll go for a house. We'll, we'll, we'll start as we mean to go. We'll go for the expensive option. Right, okay. One house, two house, three houses. It's probably not going to be enough. Okay, well, we'll do a row. A row at the back as well. And then we'll put some roadage around. Give me a road. Yeah, I still need to get used to this mouse. Right, that's six houses. Should probably unpause them. Right. Right click to cancel the building option you're in. Toll grid. Oh, that's soil fertility. Okay, that'll be good for farming. Or, okay, well, there seems to be some over there. Oh. Oh, 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 see me in. Oh, right, there we go. Oh, there's lots more over there. Right, okay. Not so much there. Okay, what's the next after? Or, grid off. That's fine. That's, that's usable. Right, they're now digging, taking down all those trees. Um, and hopefully building houses. Do I need a builder? Do I need a builder? Jobs board. Carrier, woodcutter, gatherer, forester, hunter, fisherman, quarryman, miner, farmer, herbalist, toolsmith, innkeeper, tailor, baker. Um, no. Accordingly, I just need a carrier. So I don't need a builder. So I don't know who, who's doing the building, but whoever it is, they need to get on with it. Um, right. We need a source of Food. Was I not? Did I not say research? Did I not say research something? Have you researched it? Oh, you're almost. Yep, you are. I'll wait for you to build. What have we got in the production buildings? Depot. Um, do I need one of those? Um, I probably do. I'm going to bank on it. I bet I do. Oh, I can't have it there. Really? Okay, well, how about there? We'll put a road around it so that everyone can get to it from all directions. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Depot. What else have we got? Gatherer's shelter, hunting lodge, venison leather, forester's hut, plants and cut down trees. Probably need that fairly quickly. Um, let's see, where can we put this? Um, let's go up here. Up here, up here. Let's put you there. I want to put the grid back on. Put the grid back on. There we go. Right. Let's build the road to you. So from there to there. And then. Yeah, this is a bit fiddly with the mouse sensitivity. I hope we saw that soon. What else do I need? Sawmill. What a surprise. Oh my god, it's huge. Um, look at you, you're huge. Can I turn you? Oh, I can. There we go. Right. Well, let's put you there. What about a road? I need a faster way of turning this off. Let's get a quick look at these houses then. Hello people, you're all wearing stripes like you're convicts. Were you convicts in a past life? Is that why you crashed on this land? 
Hmm. There's some in there. Very pretty. I like the graphics in this. It is nice. It's quite quite a nice level of detail. Apart from that woman stood there doing nothing. What are you? you? What are you doing? Why are you stood there? Let's speed this up. I know I'm running over time, but uh, we'll just keep this going for for a little bit longer, mm. just we, so we can make the uh, get all the main base buildings down. They're taking a long time to consider anything. Am I short of resources? I'm short of lumber. Oh, okay. Should have known that was gonna happen. Right, let's harvest some. Harvest all of you lot. Oh, King sends his regards. So the king is sent over a ship to a good for our fair city. Sort of city. He's clearly pleased with us. Most excellent. Please notify the king that we accept his gift of 23 stone. Yes, seems that's the only option I have anyway. And it's now raining. We're in May. It's 14 centigrade in spring. And it's raining. Looks like Scottish weather to me. Come on, you lot. I'm at 10 speed. Go faster. I've got most of the houses built. There we go. We've got all six houses built. One is empty. That's good. <coughs> that built. And, oh, no forester in building. Okay. Um, so I can do it from here, all the jobs board then. Oh, I've got upgrades. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to be able to upgrade the building without having to replace it with something. Expansion, worker slots, production by 15%, and tree growth by 15%. That's not bad. Right, let's put a forester in there. Off you go. Get to work. And sawmill. You are produced, turning lumber to firewood. I suspect I'll need you before winter. If this, yep, stop moaning that there's no firewood. If this is anything like banished, you get to winter and then they all freeze. And within seconds, you watch every single one of your population suddenly perish and freeze to death. And you sit there and go, oops, forgot about that. Must do better next time. Right. So, they have cleared quite a big area actually. Um, should probably clear a bit more around the houses just so we can see what's going on. So, um, right, but while they're clearing that, they're also clearing some mining stuff as well. Uh, which I suspect is stone or iron. Oh, King's still happy with us. He sent us 36 tools. Thank you very much, King. I'm very happy with that. Right, well, while they do that, we've got the absolute basics down. I'm assuming that my research is finished and I can now... I have indeed. I can now have a fisherman's hut. Um, and... Yeah... Residence house, three people in there out of six. The space for six in one of those. Income's 120 a year from... Right, okay, so you get 60 coins a year per adult, by the looks of that, which isn't too bad. They also seem to be, yes, having children breeding prolifically. Wonderful. And they've got some pork, beans, wheat... I um, don't know what the other one was. They also seem to be eating it really fast. Let's pause there. Pause. Thank you. Right, let's pause there for the day. So we've got it up and running. We've seen a few things. We like what it looks like so far. Oh, look, lights. Oh, no, that's cool. Then it looks even better when it's darker. Does it have a night mode? Developers, if you're listening, we need a night mode. They would look so cool at night. Almost um, Guild 2 3 esque, I think. Really, with the lights, that would look really good. 
And uh, yeah, it's nice to see that you can get different different types of houses. I wonder if there's a way. I wonder if there's a way you can change the type of house before you put it down, or whether you just get stuck with it randomising every time you place a house. We'll have to experiment and see. Um, and the depots, wow. Well, it's a wooden floor with a roof. Wow, okay. Anyway, guys, that is a quick look to start. And, yeah, I know it's already moaning that I need food. Um, and I think in the next episode, we'll look at getting some food in and see what we can expand into next. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for the next episode. Cheers for now.